Good morning guys. If you're watching this video and you remember that intro I used to do all the time. So welcome back to the one year video. I'm recording this 10 days shy, trying to get everything set up and ready. So it can go live on the day that we arrived one year ago. So we left Kent on the 24th of November. So hopefully this video goes live on the 24th of November, 2021. What I'm gonna do is show you some pictures first of around here and what it used to look like. Because when we got here, I didn't really take videos. I didn't start the channel until the 17th of December. So let's show you some pictures of what this jungle here used to look like. And um, then we'll start showing you some videos and taking you through the timeline of what's been going on. Three weeks ago, we uh, we left lovely Kent and moved to Pembrokeshire. At this track, this track leads down into the yard where all the cars are. And on Monday, we've got the tractor coming, so we need to make sure it's all cleared out so we can get it through and into the field. Finally arrived. Renault 651, it is only two wheel drive, but lovely little tractor. She turned up yesterday quite late, so I didn't record it. Yeah, we've just been having a go with it, getting used to it. Comes with, a, we bought a trailer as well separately. Okay, so what we're doing now is, here we've got, behind there's a rear weight, behind this tank, we've got this little bucket here. We're just trying to drag it out now, so you need to chain it up. There's the rear weight. So I've got to chain her up and we're going to drag her out. Loads of stuff here we need to pull out. Okay, we've got a uh, few bits here we need to take out. I've just had to lift that by hand, that was a pain in the arse. Um, yeah, there's probably some more stuff hiding around. Things we've had to dig this all out. You can see we've been digging it out. Take some of this fencing down, put a gate in. Sort of a gate through here into the yard rather than following the track along and round to the gate over the other side of the yard there. So, of course, we haven't got a bucket. He's using the loader to ram some of it across. He's just pushing it along. Morning guys, in today's video, I am going to be doing some trimming. So I've got my lovely, lovely brush cutter with me this round. Brand new from Parker's. So, a little while later, I've now basically cleared what I needed to. I'll get a bit of image when I turn it around. Here comes the cat. Hello you. What are you doing over here? You haven't been here yet. So I've started off roughly in line with this. And I've just carried on all the way through up to the chicken houses. And then all through here. I mean, it's still bram like low-level brambles, but I've took out the height of them so we can walk through now. Good morning, guys. In today's video, we are currently out cultivating the brambles. As you can see behind me, Daddy's out on the tractor now. He's got the cultivator on. I'm just going to capture some footage of him getting it done. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. It's better than having all these brambles kicking up at your heels. Oh, we've got some more buried treasure appearing. Oh, all kinds of old stuff in here. I can't believe he just reversed that into the sheds. Well, there's one way of taking the tree down, just ram it with a loader. Why not? <laughs> I don't think he likes that tree very much. Look how big the roots are on it. Oh, 
Still dug in. Still in. Still in. Ah, I'll probably do it. You can see here, Daddy's just messing around now. We uh, have plans to also use it as a bucket because at the minute we are struggling to find one. So Dad's going to customise it and make it fit so we can have a multi-purpose from it. So yeah, enjoy. So we've just moved the transport box around in the yard. Dad needs to do some work on it and also on the loader. So the idea now is to make this ram fit in this hole here. So Dad's going to get his disc cutter out. He's going to cut it down either side, make a fit in, and then we've uh, customised the transport box so it can also be used as a bucket. Dad has... Uh, this cut the ram we've now put a pin through and as you can see we can now use it on the front loader so now he's just testing out the ram So yeah, I'm usually behind him, just uh, making sure he isn't dragging anything up, that he doesn't want to get him stuck on the tines. I had videos that first day when we got here, and we just see all these brambles everywhere. Literally, you just stood at the gate behind me here, stood at this gate here, and you couldn't walk through it. You couldn't walk through it at all. So he's just drawing it all up into a pile. Oh, I think In today's video, Dad is currently going through the track. He's trying to open it up a bit more because without having four wheel drive, it's just horrible coming through that. 
if you want to try and get down that track when it's wet you really can't so he's trying to just level it out a bit more running the tractor through so i'll just show you what he's doing so what he's trying to do is trying to hit the edge of that bank as much as he can with his wheels and just press it down Yeah, so at the minute we are just levelling it off, trying to get the rest of this bank dug out from the mud. <sighs> Here comes the cat, Bonnie. Hello. So I'm going to be clearing out this side here of the chicken coops. So I'm at the field side. It is full of brambles, wood, scrap metal, sheeting, tins, you name it. There's, there's all kinds of stuff in it. So, uh, Dad's uh, putting one of the sheets back over the extractor fans for the chicken nuts. While he's doing this, I am still over there adding piles to the fire. It's not as fun as what Dad's doing, but nah, you're alright, I'll leave you up there. He said I could do it if I want. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing it, but... If I'm doing that, who's doing the fire? So there we go. There's so much rubbish in here. The plan is to eventually clear through that lot. As you can see, it's taking a lot of time and we also obviously want to clear this first, I imagine. But yeah, we'll eventually work our way through and uh, see how we get on. Pretty happy with how far we've got. We did not expect to get this far. Most of it's cleared out. All of it is now is just moving out some of the metal, some of the wood, cleaning up the floor. Yeah, so I'll get on to that. I will Rock hard at the minute. Absolutely rock hard. <laughs> oh, we are in. We got you. On you go. That's my first time ever itching up. Quite happy about that. Let's just uh, pull our forwards an inch or two. Right guys, welcome to my update video. This is to show you what's been going on while I've been taking a breather for about 10 days, roughly. So first of all, the uh, top part of the yard, we used to have the rear weight sitting there, as you might remember. Dad has uh, thrown that over there, which as you can see now is clear. This wasn't clear before. So originally this was all trees, all trees. Dad's been pushing them out with the, the uh, front load of the tractor and chainsawing away. We had the pile there that was wood that has now been burnt. So dad wants to use this as our turning point. So uh, while I've uh, not been videoing for a few days, dad has picked up a plow, nice and cheap. He's had a little go with it. Uh, she's a lot better than some of the plows that we looked at, that's for sure. Yeah, it wants a bit of work, it wants a top arm. New uh, top arm put in it. Yeah. New bit of tube put in there. And he wants a bit more of a clean up and a tidy up. Touch of Dulux around it. Uh, a disc change, but I've got a spare one over there. And apart from that, it should be all right. Was actually an unloading bay for lorries and stuff. We saw it a while ago, and first, when we first found it, obviously it was, you know, it was buried up. We thought that it might be something like uh, some foundations or something, but we uncovered it somewhat and then realised actually. This was probably where you'd put the back end of a lorry that you'd unload it. <clears throat> so, uh, oh look, here he goes. <sighs> He's off with his little plow.
that it was a building we've stored them in the chicken sheds for now out of the way so as you'll see there is a run this will this does actually feature in the video you saw me a couple of weeks well actually probably a couple of days ago clearing the ivy off for that one this was all brambles so we came in with a bucket we cleared out everything pushed a lot of the soil that way moved any hardcore that was from the original building over here a lot of the wood we find sleepers and stuff was burnt or due to be burnt but it's absolutely wet and rotten so this does feature you will see this we created a gate through here So, ta-da! This is the, uh, what I call the outbuilding in the back garden. So what Dad's done is, first of all, put a door on it, lovely stuff. The, um, on the edges of these sheets here on the roof, where they were overhanging, a lot of them are rotten. So he's just discut his way. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Show what you're doing. Yeah. Show it the other bit from the outside as well. Outside, as you can see, finally been blocked up all the way along. Fresh wood in here. We removed all that wood that was sitting on the top there, all rotten and gone. Sheets have been sorted out as well. It's absolutely uh, perfect for them now. Windows are also opening, but they need a good scrub. And as you can see in here, guys, look at this. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna record this bit from here. I was gonna take you guys in, but there's no point. Right, so what we've done inside now is this has all been filled as much as we can, any holes around the sides. We filled a few of the holes up. We've got chickens having a bit of fun over there. Look. All right, let's go in and see who's gonna greet us. Oh, here we go, the herd is here. Ladies, I need to come in. Fion. Oh, they're a nightmare for this. Right, Fion, back. Fion, back. Fion, back. Hey, 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 <laughs> Okay, this is going well. Ladies, come on, Fion. Oh, they're pecking the door now. Let's see. Right, okay, guys, we, this isn't going to plant them in. There's literally a queue at the door. Hey, I'm over here, dipshits. Come on. How many are there? Two, four, five, queuing up at the door. Okay, so here's the uh, three eggs that we got this morning. Well, a couple of them were later on in the day. This is from Ginger. She lays the largest eggs at the minute. I, we're pretty sure now that she's the one that's been laying double yolks. We've had two double yolks of her so far. Afternoon, guys. So, nice sunny day. A bit windy, but we are busy today. So we've just had a delivery of some new toys for dad to play around with. Missing a couple of the tines, but we can, um, we've got a couple with it anyway, so we can put them on. And then... Yeah. Dropped off. There you go. What's a little bit work doing, like most stuff we get. But generally, she'll do what we need her to do, like always. Quite a big one as well.
So we just want to see what's in there now. Oh, maybe not. He's spinning. clearing out this old building here dad is currently chainsawing taking out some of these branches that are overhanging we're going to come in morning so uh today is chain harrowing day dad's already been on the middle field and done that so i'm just gonna take the drone up to the top field where he is now and we will show you guys how he's getting on Hopefully he gets it on this one. Ah, it needs to come under a bit lower down. <clears throat> lower. Under that branch there. Go lower. Go lower. Under that one there. Come in under that one there. Come in under that branch. Quite a few roots coming off of that one there. There's one way of doing it, using a uh, customised transport box into a bucket just to go absolutely Rambo on her. Uh, yeah, that's good going that, the only issue is he's put it... Morning guys, so today we still haven't actually caught up with what's going on behind us here with the uh, growing. We will catch up with that very soon. So in today's video, we've got the plough out, I'm going to send the drone up as well. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, the sheepdog has just decided to come and join me quickly while I'm recording this introduction. Here she comes. What are you doing? Sorry, she's always... Uh...
Morning, so today dad has been busy. He's currently putting some sheets up on the side of the barn. So let's just take you through what he's been doing. So he's got some, well these threaded bolts. Yeah. So he's got some threaded, threaded bolts and he's, bar. and you've threaded bar and you've bent them round, is that right? So he's got them bent round. What he's done is, we've, he's attached a piece of wood along the bottom there and attached a piece of wood along the middle. He's also creosoted it to uh, protect the wood, staining it. Like so. So he's measured along, he's used the spirit level, he's used a tape measure. And what he's trying to do at the minute is fix the sheet to the bottom of the wood. Yeah. The side is finished and completed. It looks really good. It's so much better. Keeps the wind out of this side. Makes the barn look a lot better. So uh, you're going to have to excuse the uh, time jump. I lost the uh, clip of it finished. So I'll... Uh, having to record it so um here's how it looks on the inside now i think i'm gonna i'm gonna have to keep it hidden but we've got some new toys coming so i'm just gonna let you guys know we've got new toys coming there's one two three three i'm gonna say three no no because then there's them three six six new things coming so i'm pretty excited to show you them when they come morning so today the massey ferguson 675 has arrived we've bought this as a non-running project we're pretty excited to get working on it and see what we can do with it so i'll take you guys around so as you can see the uh, cab it's got the usual bit of rock going on doesn't worry us too much as uh, we can always sort that out it's only a bit of tin work as dad would like to say it's even got the original front headlights on it Put a cover on the exhaust uh, if you look at the engine there she looks all right we just need to uh take the bonnet off and get in there and see what's going on morning so i said that we had a blue tractor arriving i only told i think one person what it was so it's a ford 7600 so let's uh take you around her then pretty excited for this one again so obviously we had the massey recently and now suddenly out of the blue we find a lovely ford Good price, so we had to uh, snap the guy's arm off for it. So these are 96 horsepower, so basically 100. Um, they got a turbo as well. Well, it's going a lot better than the PZ was. The PZ is um, belt driven and the belt was slack. So, yeah. Where the belt was slack on the PZ, the, the um, drums, the discs, drums, discs, drums weren't moving. Oh, that's cutting all right, I think. Apart from, yeah, that'd be all right. Scalping the grass a little bit. Probably wants to go a bit higher, I'd say. The grass is really long now, just to show you how long it is on me. That is about uh, waist height in certain areas. So we're just getting ready. We want to test, make sure that we are going to be ready for when we do get onto our hay cutting this year. Cording, or at least I thought I was, but the uh, GoPro messed up on me. So I haven't actually captured that strip being done, which is really annoying. Um, but as you can see, I reckon the PZ's probably taking more off the grass which is better the fact that we've already raked this off and dad's gone over with a pz and we're getting more tells me one thing the pz is probably the better mower so uh welcome back to the channel so uh in the field the weather is okay and uh i woke up to uh, the mower's going like this and i'm like what's going on why can i hear that i've just spent i think i was up till four in the morning last night playing video games 
and then it's like we're going mowing ah what do you mean i've hardly slept so uh dad has decided even though after talking about the windows and the weather that he's going to go ahead so um the prediction for the next four days is maybe a small chance of rain but there's a lot of heat so uh he's gone for it for the bottom field that is on the disc and uh during that cut we took a chance on that if we put the new blades on it it was going to cut very nicely and to put it this way guys i think she's actually cutting better than the pz that we sold it was a big gamble um i think it's a gamble paid off We'll see you in a minute. Hey, are, so how have I done? Yeah, I've done all right. Good. There we go. So you heard it from him. He's actually happy. Right, let's show you the final of how I got on. So this is day one, cutting and first heading. So let's have a look how the uh, cutting the bale twine works. So in a minute, we'll see. They'll cut and then the bale will be onto a new one. So just keep watching. There, so it switches over. It's cut the twine, we're on to the next one. 
So anyone new to baling, the, uh, the tines in the baler there, they pick it up, you see that, they're picking it up, they draw the hay into the bale, they push it into the chamber, and then the chamber draws it out the back here, like so. There's quite a lot of components that go into balers, there's the knotters, the knives, there's uh, a lot, I mean a lot. We've got the manual for this baler, the new one 68, and it is uh, quite a read, there's a lot to learn, but it's worth doing it before you get started. We've made sure the timing's correct, we're really happy about it's doing it, as you can see guys. Producing some lovely bales now, we've got the shape right, one's about to fall off, there we go, look at that. Oh, lovely bales, lovely weather here today. It's about nearly half seven now, sun is absolutely beaming, we've had, what? we've had not rain, we've had wind all day, and the wind disappears in the evening, always seems to. it come out on camera there we go stacking up in threes and fours like so um 200 ready for sale off the field and hopefully tomorrow when we finish off this bottom field we'll have about 350 so 3.5 acres it's not bad we have cut the um half of the top field as well that'll feature in a different video So I'm up, I'm up here now at the uh, top field, as you can see, definitely ready for cutting. Um, it's a nice day, we've got a prediction window, I think of a couple of weeks of sun, there's going to be a heat wave here in the UK, um, so that's going to be a really good one for us. Right guys, so I've always wanted to do camping. It's always been one of my dreams for the past, I think nearly 10 years now, ever since I went camping as a 17, 18 year old, first time ever. Finally got the horse box. So the idea is to turn that into one toilet and one shower. We'll see what we can do when we get in there and get the measurements. So what I'll do now is I'll show you around it first. And then I'll show this side as well. And I'm starting on the back now. So I'm doing it all by hand, just for now. Let's use the big one. So as you can see, it's uh, quite easy enough to do. Yeah, uh, underneath as best as I can as well. So it's now been uh, washed all the way round. I've done obviously the wire brushing as well. And now I am onto the sand inside of things. So I will show you how I'm getting on with that. You can see his rowing up lines there. He's working his way round the field and down and back up. He's coming down 
somewhere over there in a minute. We should be able to see him in a second. <coughs> Smells lovely actually. Smells quite nice. Um, gotta have the hay sniff. Missed that in one of my videos. Um, sold quite a few of the, of the uh, bottom field now. And I think most people have uh, sniffed the hay. Quite an interesting thing that people like to smell it to, to tell the purity. There we go. Here you go, guys. That is a nice size bale. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Some lovely bales. Let's watch it going up into the tines and into the bale chamber. So he draws it up. Feeds it in. Bell chamber pushes it through, the knives cut. guys so today we are uh, as you can see starting to stack the bales up on the bale trailer so we can eventually move them into one of the uh, barns so uh, been up the top there stacking away I will go up there in a minute and we'll get some footage of us finishing off um, please ignore these three here overhanging they are fine we are crisscrossing our stacks come one that we took the sides off and put a temporary fourth floor on it so lovely here. Hot, sweaty, that's how we love it. Oh. Well, I think he's uh, coming to a stop somewhere around here. That sounds like the brake stuck on again, typical. Leaves it there tonight is his words. That'll be all right. Oh. Do we want to put some of them heavy ones on the bar? Yeah, go for it. Oh, do we these ones, oh, go for the better ones. On in, so as you'll see, I've got a bit of a surprise coming up today. So from the thumbnail, yes, we have got the class in and uh, Neville has been making us some lovely round bales. So um, I unfortunately broke the drone, so the drone has not gone up. I managed to break one of the arms, I'll get it repaired. Maybe we'll have that up for our next video. Um, kind of a shame, but.
Hi guys, so today I am uh, starting to take the bonnet off of the Massey. I'm already halfway there. So I've got the uh, the mother cluckers with me, free ranging around. They're uh, helping me out while I work on it. So we did move the Massey in the end. So we uh, hooked on with the uh, Renault and the loader and we uh, dragged her through and then pushed her through. It took quite a bit of time. Um, and now as you can see, I've taken the side panels off there. And I've taken the front grill off as well. And I'm working on taking the top of the bonnet off as well. Ah, there we go. Hopefully we get to that stage. But before we get to that stage, we've got to uh, get this thing singing and dancing, haven't we? Right, let's get the bonnet off. Right, so it is off now. And uh, one part of it, hang on, let's just try and show you, is, uh, yeah, there you go, really rotted. It wasn't easy to come off. That was a two-man job to lift it off. Only because of it rotting away. But here we go. Bit more ease of access now. To my left is a drain lid. And I'll come around this corner here. I've planted my foot down on top of the drain lid. This is my bad leg. I had the ACL operation on it, I don't know, six years ago. Um, still have a lateral meniscus cartilage tear. And... Um, all I remember is my leg's gone straight down through this drain. Some I managed to get myself back out of it and lay down on the floor and legs all gashed up. Might put pictures on of it, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, so. I I couldn't get the other side. In you go, go on Morgana. There you go, there's Broody in. Um, so we have uh, got a little something in our fields. So Mum's been out here for ages. Hey sheepdog. And I, I don't know how she's not noticed. She must be blind as a bat. There is some escape sheep over there walking around in the field. How have they escaped? I don't know, we have to find out they got in here. Then we we'll have to send them back across. Oh, I don't know. Has it gone through? Yeah, they're through. I'm going to check. I'm sending it up. It needs to go further up. You're going to scare him, just step back. Further up, probably. Have you got ties, number? Good morning everyone, so today the new tractor has arrived as you've just seen, what do you think? Let's show you, let's take you in. So a few of you guessed international, we had the David Brown guess, um, what else did we have, I can't remember now, but yeah, you all got it wrong. <laughs> so we've already got a Renault 651 two wheel drive, now say hello to Renault 651 four wheel drive, now, obviously we're missing a cab which isn't a problem, Dad's got plans to potentially try and put another cab on it anyway. And also needs a seat. But there she is. Hi. Wait, Lily, get down. What are you doing it with that? Chicken's uh not doing it with that. Dad's trying to wire and he burnt his hands off. Uh here's our escape chicken just while we're quickly getting this rough and running. And he's trying to get it going. Um, we have this chicken, she comes out every day and lays an egg out here somewhere. And this is how she does it. Hello, Lil. You all right? No, I'm not sending you down, don't worry. So that's just getting her uh, turning. Brave on their own, and they get ganged up by the flock. That's why they prefer to be over here at the minute. All eight are sticking over here. Um, you just don't want them to get ganged up on like that. She could have easily got ganged up on then, um, but they do need to introduce. There is ways of introducing them at night as well, but we're just going to keep gradually letting them see each other throughout the day. Um, keep an eye on it, because we're here anyway. Um. Okay, so that is it for day number one for introducing them. 
I did make one slight error and that is the road rock rocky which is here the one with the fully ginger chest I, I did a head count before I shut the fence off and then I'm doing a head count again and I'm calling them and she ain't appearing original step and everything like that, <coughs> the wings. So, here she is now, all stripped down. <sighs> Dad's been cutting bits off, he's cut the step off, because we're not gonna need that anyway. But the framework is good. We ain't gonna want it inside here, no, no. You don't want it inside there either, no? Well, we want the wing, wings, so the wings, which we'll patch up. And we might, we want a bit of the back floor, but. Yep. So you're just cutting the bits off that we're not going to need. Right, now for the um, progression, just to show you where we are. It is now November the 19th. Let's show you around. So the barn is being painted. If you remember from the clips, we had no sheets here or here. We've put them in, we've taken sheets off the other side, made our route through. Obviously we never had the chicken run. We've fitted that on there. The building's been tidied up. Chickens, look at them all. Go follow me. Help! Send help! I've been attacked by chickens. Um, when we come out here, so when we first got here, obviously the jungle. Now, all sorts of stuff here. Obviously the barn. Now we've got the three tractors in the barn. Dad's starting to do hard standing along here. We're using the, the scrapings from the front for that horse box. Progressed quite well. We're about halfway there with that now. Before we start working on the inside. Um, the allotment patch as well, you've seen all that, the, the original bits where we were obviously brush cutting through here, cultivated, we ploughed, um, <clears throat> preparing all the soil and obviously starting the growing process. So let's just show you some uh, ideas now of what's going to happen in this area. So the plan is, from what I get, because we want to take you through a brief of what's coming up this year. So we want to do a lean to on the side of the barn. That is definitely coming up this year, the lean-to on the side of that barn. That is a must, it's going to be over here. Um, I think that Ford will end up being sold, but shh, you didn't hear that. Um, he wants to get something else, I think. Right, round here, on the right-hand side, the plan over the next year is to put a polytunnel in over there. Measured everything, just need to go polytunnel shopping and actually buy one. Um, hard standing on the mud surface here, obviously. We need to get hard sand on here, that is going to be vitally important. <coughs> Chicken sheds, they are part of the five year plan, but we would like to start looking at the gutting out of them. Um, the idea is we want to get them to floor level. Um, so yeah, uh, as for the growing area, this will be used in a better capacity next year. Now we've got an idea of what we want to grow. Um, let's take you along here, God, you literally can't walk along here at the minute, you really need to get some hard standing down here. Um, so obviously we'll be doing the hay again this year. Um, plan is now, over the course of the next few months, is we're actually gonna rent the uh, fields out. It's all been agreed now. Um, I think it was the best way. We were trying to get sheep, but it's the wrong time of the year to buy them. Um, so we'll wait. We'll have some sheep. That is 100% happening this year. We are getting sheep. No, 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 we're getting them. Uh, in the barn, you saw us fill this barn up. You can see we sold quite a bit now. This was flown up to the door. Um, obviously that building, will be as it is, apart from we'll probably paint the sides that Dad's done his temporary fix. Yard, we'll clear that up a bit more. Nice composting heap going on here. These bales are sold, just waiting on them to collect. <coughs> uh, I don't know if there's any plans for the yard at the minute for the year. I haven't really sat down, spoke to my dad about the plans for the year. These are the ones I just remember we are doing. Um, so yeah, what's gonna happen is, fields are gonna be renting out till somewhere around February, March, just to graze them down a bit. 
So then that way we're ready to go again. By that time, hopefully, we can probably look at buying our own sheep anyway, which would be nice. Um, Cause obviously everyone will be lambing over the winter. I don't know, well look at Dad's, look at his track through here. It's cause he's been cutting the uh, scrapings through. What other plans are we doing this year? What are we gonna do in the year? He don't know. Comes up with it as he goes along. Obviously we'll be getting that cab on the Renault. Maybe we'll get the Massey up and running. Uh, horse box will be done. I wanna do the camping, I really wanna do the camping. I want the horse box out here, I want campers out here. So let's see what happens with that. That's one of the things on the list I wanna get done this year. Um, as you see a lot of it, this first year was clearing up the land, tidying it up. You never know what jobs we're gonna find, what we're gonna do. We've been clearing up the, the front there. So there is a lot more I want to talk about. I want to show you everything, come through the whole plan. But I haven't had a chance to sit down with mum and dad and talk about what we've got and our ideas. Obviously we want to do fruit trees and stuff. We've got ideas of maybe even utilising some of the fields for different uh, aspects of growing as well. But again, we will talk about that later. So today is my fifth, uh, five year engagement with my partner. Five years being engaged, six years of being together next month. Um, so with that in mind, I need to speed up a tad. I hope you guys have enjoyed the channel for this past year. I cannot believe the progression that we have made. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think on that. Absolutely awesome how far we've got and how much land we've cleared, tidied up and got actually usable again. Because generally, as we said, it was a five year plan to make it a more usable area. Um, it hadn't been used for many, many years. So yeah, with that in mind, I hope you've really enjoyed the channel this past year. I now want to thank quite a few of my subscribers. Um, and most top commenters as well. Um, if I missed you out, don't worry. I, I see all the comments, I respond to you all. So I do thank you guys. So let's start with the list. We've got Mitch, MJA doing stuff. David at DJD Farming Life. Fred Baker, Glyn Davies, KTO Farms, and that's also with Grace Reese Harry's. Paul Newman, Robert Hughes Farm Life. John Mooney, Anthony Farming. They're just a few I could pick out while I was finishing off this video, getting it all pre-done and made. So thank you guys for your comments uh, throughout the year. Um, if I've missed your names, I'm sorry. I do see all the comments, I do respond to you all. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. Um, I'd love to see what you guys think about how far we've got. Also, give me your ideas. What should we be doing? What should we be doing? Because I've got all these ideas in my head. I'm thinking, why don't we get some bees? Why don't we grow some orchard trees, you know, grow some apples, pears, sell the fruit, expand on our honesty box system, have a little area where we could do a little farm shop or something for like veg and eggs and stuff like that, get more chickens. There's so many ideas all out there, but just to take that into perspective, to implement them, and if you go and watch someone like us, and then you go and watch someone like, oh, I don't know, Jeremy Clarkson, you know, he's got the money, he's got the backing, he's got the money coming in from the TV show as well. They've got that there to support them, whereas we're just living off what we had. There was a set amount of savings, it was used. You then got to work out where you're going to put your money next, how you're going to earn money. That's the whole thing with having a farm or a small one. You've got to know what you're doing, how you're going to make a plan, how you're going to earn an income. So there is ideas, there is opportunities. It's just putting them into practice and spending the money wisely so that you make your money back. Do you have to follow me? Look, I'm being photo bombed. She's always bombing me. Ah, the sheep dog. Follow me around everywhere, didn't you? So yeah, right. Drop me them comments. Let me know what you think on some ideas. What could be a good money maker? And uh, we'll see you guys. Well, in our next video, which I think is going to be moving some of them road scrapings around to that uh, track and working on that. I don't know how far we'll get with it, but I don't think we've got enough. We'll have to buy something in and put it across and. Yeah, so thank you for joining our journey, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the journey here in uh, Pembrokeshire, one year. Absolutely mental to think I was standing here a year ago and I was just looking around. I wouldn't even be able to stand here, actually, because this was all, you know, there was a mountain of mess there. There was no track through here. So uh, mad, 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 mad. Unbelievable, but I've enjoyed the journey. I've learned a lot. That was the plan. Come in here, do something different, learn some new skills help out. I've learned quite a lot this year. So hopefully next year I'll learn even more and things will be progressing even more, even more, even more. We're getting tongue tied again. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the journey. I hope to see you in our next season as well with uh, the journey for year two. Mm. See you later, guys. Take care. Thank you.